Hello everyone, welcome back. Welcome back. Another episode here of the drive along. I have finished. I'm finished with my uh, recycling. I got $17. $17 for 200 pounds of scrap metal. That's a lot actually. Uh, I guess I guess one good thing about inflation is that the price of everything goes up, even scrap metal. Although I have to spend this money on things that have the prices that have gone up, so really I don't I don't think I really made that much, you know. Uh, thing about inflation is that you, you you know when it comes to recycling, you think you're getting more, but you got to remember the cost of everything else has gone up as well. So you're probably not. It just seems like you're getting more. So anyways, so that it was my recycling trip. I think in my last drive along, I talked about Spirit Airlines. And yes, I got, I bought a ticket from Spirit Airlines. It cost me $25 and some odd cents. The flight, the fare itself was $11 and six cents. The taxes and fees was fourteen dollars and cents, some some kind of cents, and and some change. So uh, the fare was cheaper than the taxes and fees. Can you believe that? So, anyways, uh, I'm not planning on taking any carry-on other than just my backpack. It's a one-way flight. I just need to go to L.A. I just need to go to L.A to drive on back. That's all I'm doing and that's all I'm going to do. So anyways, on the drive back, I guess I'll talk a little bit about uh, what's going on in my life. I guess I, you know, these drive-alongs, that's kind of what I do, just talk about things. And then you get to see, uh, oh, something's going on. This truck is even, the truck is even going, trying to go around. So something happened here. This, the truck is even trying to move, trying to go around, which isn't good. Uh, this is the local airport out, he out here. This is the Sugarland Airport, next to a park, actually. Very nice park. I actually rode my electric bike. I don't know what's happening, but uh, aha, this this thing died. The semi truck died. That's what happened. Okay. So, anyways, uh, have you probably seen in my ride along videos? Um, I'm my oldest is graduating from high school, so we are celebrating her graduation. The whole family's getting together. My mom's coming to Texas. I'm actually, that's why I'm, I bought the Spirit Airlines to go get her, drive back here for her birthday, my birthday, and Mother's Day before graduation, drive her back, okay, to go pick up her sister, my aunt, and then come back here again by car because my mom has a phobia of flying. I think she has a phobia of flying. Seems like it. So she has a phobia of flying. Not sure what it is, but she doesn't like flying. So, but for me, in order to go to California, I'm not going to drive to California. That's just way too much. And plus, we need to drive her car back and forth because it's a BMW lease vehicle. And, uh, a quick reminder to myself to call BMW to see if we could return that BMW to any BMW dealer because it'd be great because if we drove here and return it to a BMW dealer here, that way we don't have to drive back to return it. So I, I, that'd be ideal, but I, I don't know. We'll see. We'll have to see. Anyways. Uh, this is what we're going to, uh, so I'm, I'm getting ready for a graduate. That's the only thing on my mind is graduation. 
uh, my, my oldest daughter's graduation, not my graduation. I graduated from high school a long, long time ago. Never went to college. I, I chose not to go, mainly because I, you know, I saw the whole infrastructure, the whole institution of learning, higher education, almost to be a scam, almost. But I will be pushing my daughter. Actually, we do have a plan for her to graduate college. She'll be going to a community college. I think that's the best alternative. Keeps her around the house. We don't want to, I have to admit, I know she's an adult, but we don't want to let her go just yet. And uh, have her transfer into a university, which we already have one in mind, which is also another university close to, the, to our house. It's just a matter of cost, paying for it. So, but yeah, that's my main focus. It's a nice sunny day. I was going to ride my bike today, but I do have to recycle this stuff. I, I actually on the way home, I got to pick up another, I think it's a washer. Someone left a washer. No one's picked it up yet. So I'm going to pick that up and some other, maybe some other day I'll be going back to the recyclers and dumping that off as well. Maybe get not as much, but maybe get 15 bucks for it, maybe $10. Anyways, it pays for gas. It pays for gas, that's all I can say. So, so that's what's going on in my life. I'm just focusing on the graduation. That's the only, I'm trying to get my oldest to graduate. I'm trying to get her to graduate. And on top of that, I'm also trying to uh, make sure she graduates and then also, you know, make sure the celebration and everything. I've already got reservations at Morton's, uh, the, the night of Friday night before her graduation ceremony. So we're going to, and we're all going to be in downtown Houston because the, the graduation ceremony is going to be in downtown Houston in, in Toyota Center. They got 20 different high schools graduating on Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So that's kind of how it's set up. So we just decided to get hotel rooms in, in downtown. Originally, I was gonna get the Marriott right here in Sugarland and get a rental car. That way we could just all go together. But uh, my other family members, one of them already got a place downtown. So that kind of changed things for me. So. I decided just go ahead and go downtown. It's walking distance. We got parking covered. Come back after that. Go to um, after the graduation ceremony. We're going to go to uh, Foco de Chao Brazilian Steakhouse. So Brazilian Steakhouse, and then we're going to come back to this Marriott over there in Sugarland, and they're going to and that's where some of the family members will be staying a day or two extra days or over the weekend. So I, I, we've got all that already set up. Hopefully everything goes smoothly. Hopefully. Hopefully there's no lockdowns. I think after the Omicron virus, or the COVID-19 Omicron variant, I think lockdowns are, I don't know, I, hopefully this will go away because the Omicron was so infectious but not very deadly. A lot of people got infected, even people who were vaccinated, even people who got the Delta, the Beta, the Alpha, and the wild version of COVID-19, the original version or whatever version that came out of China. Um, hopefully people, there's enough people that got infected to have lasting immunity that uh, we can finally get some herd immunity and this will just be an endemic, endemic, end to the pandemic here, endemic. And it'll just be treated as like a seasonal flu, seasonal cold. With the uh, Omicron, it's pretty much at this point, very similar to a cold or flu. You just get it, you get sick, but you don't go to the emergency room or <laughs> you need an emergency intervention. So I'm hoping that's the case and this is pretty much all over or most of it. The other thing I'm concerned about now is, man, we are 
still in a supply chain shortage, supplies, supply shortage, worker shortage. There's just a lot of things going on. And with that, the economy and, and the inflation is becoming a problem and global conflict. Right now, Russia and America are gearing up for war. Russia is literally at the Ukrainian border. Uh, people are saying they're, they're going to invade Ukraine. So that's the only cons that's the major concern I have right now. But global conflict, inflation, which leads to the economy, which leads to shortages, more shortages. Worry about the shortage. There's a car. There's a there's a microchip shortage, which is causing a car shortage. It's ridiculous. Used cars are are selling like ridiculous prices. It's, it's cheaper to buy a new car if you can get a new car. There is a shortage of new cars, by the way. It's cheaper to buy a new car than it is to buy a used car. It's, it's, it's really stupid. It's ridiculous. So that's, that's the state of the world we're in. The state of the world. So uh, we, we had to buy a new car. My other car, my Hyundai Tucson caught on fire turned I, I think it really was a manu, uh, an engine defect on on the part of Hyundai or Honda Hyundai Hyundai but we bought another Hyundai we bought a Kona and uh, so and we'll when my mom comes over we need to buy another car because this truck is getting old I'm, I'm probably gonna get get rid of this truck maybe it depends it depends how much more life this truck has. It doesn't have much life. <laughs> it, does not much, it doesn't have much life at all. But uh, I like to get a Ford Expedition, the long version, the, the Max version. And the uh, plan is to get a travel trailer, use the Expedition to tow the travel trailer, travel. Another part is to actually convince my mom to purchase a, uh, another property out here in Texas. I think she's, she's going to sell her property out in California and then end up uh, purchasing a property out here. And I do have something in mind. It's like an RV kind of property. It's a house with a very long car RV port in a uh, senior community, 55 and older community. I think it'll be something, we can use her to do that. And it'll be where she retires and where I retire in the future. And it's a place to park our RV. It's kind of like a vacation home with the RV parking. That's the plan, but I don't know if she'll do it. It's, you know, but if she sells her other property, It'd be nice if she she bought this property out in Texas. It would be nice, but who knows what she's gonna do. But that's that's a plan. Then we could do RV traveling. Oh yeah, that's a, that's the other thing we want to do. Since my mom is afraid of flying, we're gonna have to do a lot of driving and stay within the country. We're not, you know, the the whole pandemic. There's still countries out there that are still doing lockdowns that are still requiring you to wear a mask vaccine passports it's it's getting ridiculous and we're, we're almost coming to the end of this pandemic i mean i mean i really i think we're coming to the end of this pandemic it's getting to be an endemic and uh, the the covid 19 is becoming more or less a seasonal you know virus that uh it, it's akin to like the seasonal flu or the uh or the cold which, by the way, the flu and the cold kills a lot of people, the elderly anyway. So uh, it's just gonna be one of those things. We're gonna have to live with it. I think this whole vaccine passport, four or five booster shots, or a vaccine every year on the year is ridiculous at this point. I mean, mandating, I think, I think vaccines are good, but mandating vaccines and boosters is 
is ridiculous. I think offering it for the people who want it, that's a great idea. But mandating it for you to go back to work, to fly, to go to a restaurant, to go shopping, no, that's, that's just ridiculous. I'm putting my foot down on that one, just squashed it. And, uh, you know, thank goodness I live in Texas, they just said, state of Texas says, no, <laughs> no to, ma no to uh, mass mandates, no to vaccine passports, not allowed. So, happy that, that I live in Texas for that. Anyways, I'm almost home here. Anyways, I'm going to end the video here. Thanks for uh, watching the video. Um, thanks for all of you guys and gals who watch. Also, uh, can, please like, share, comment. Consider joining membership. All right, I'm doing gift card giveaways. I've probably already done one. I may do another one right now. I, the, I think I've already done a Dunkin' Donuts. It's not a lot, but it'll get you at least one donut. So, uh, thanks for watching, everybody. Bye.